Spinal stenosis and spondylosis actually refer to two conditions that are very similar. These arise from chronic um, degenerative conditions of the spine. Now, the spine is a series of bones with joints in between. Now, in the front, we have the cartilage, which is a short absorber for the spine. And at the back, we have the facet joints, which allow the bones to move up and down and prevent translation of the bone. Now, inside the spine exist the nerves, and these, these nerves come out at every level of the spinal cord and lead us all the way up to the, to the brain. Now, the spinal cord and the nerves are in charge of sensation and in charge of control of the lower limbs. When we have conditions arising from the spine, for example, when there is protrusion of the disc or when there is degeneration of the joints in the spine like arthritis or the facet joint or bulging of the cartilage, that results in pain and as well it, it results in numbness and weakness of the lower limbs. So a degenerative condition of the spine can result in patient experiencing back pain. But when there is protrusion of the cartilage or formation of bone spurs that result in compression of the nerves or the spinal cord, that will result in the patient experiencing weakness, numbness and tiredness in the lower limbs because the nerve supply to the lower limbs is affected. So patients with lumbar spondylosis will generally have a chronic degree of back pain, a chronic degree of um, pain in the back with activities um, and with time when the condition becomes more severe they will start having buttock pain, thigh pain and calf pain. Now buttock pain, thigh pain and calf pain is a sign that there is nerve irritation or nerve impingement and oftentimes it affects one side more than the other. So a typical patient with lumbar spondylosis and spinal stenosis will complain of a low-grade chronic back pain that has been around for many years and they will also experience pain that goes down to the buttock of recent onset which spreads down the thigh and leg which is associated with numbness, tingling sensations and difficulty in walking long periods. They may also complain that after walking a certain distance they feel their leg is very tired and they will need to sit down and rest or they need to, to find a position of comfort or they need to lean on a certain object to get relief or they may start walking with the list listing to one side or hunching forward to create more space for the nerve which is being pinched.